gonna do a recap of um, how I'm doing on the Makuna Purins. I've been meaning to do this, but I've been so busy. I've been on the earth for three weeks now. I'm outside, so that's why it's kind of noisy out here. And it is 100 degrees. This fish is hot. So I might just keep fanning myself. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. It actually works. And um, it started working the first dose that I took. And uh, I want to give my um, impressions on it. And like I said, I've been on it three weeks. But I know I'm going to have to continue on it a few months until I really get the hang of things. And what I mean by the hang of things, it does work. It works just as well as my cinnamon does. I just have to figure out the dosage. Right now, I've done a couple of different things um, with it. I'm using the powder. Um, and as I've mentioned, I believe that the powder is the most effective type to use or um, form to use because I know from just my training that the tincture is strong, but it's not going to be as effective. Um, but it is more effective than like taking a tablet. And it's not that there's different strengths, it's more the how quickly your body can absorb the herb and in a powder form it's much better. So that's why I use powder. The second reason I use it, it is way cheaper than buying a tincture. When you buy a tincture, it's usually a small bottle. You're not going to have enough to last a month. So it's going to get very expensive if you're on a budget. The tablet's the same thing. I'm on like, I take nine doses of my cinnamon. So, you know, if I were to take the equivalent in a capsule form, it would be a lot of money. And I'd need more than, probably more than one container for the month. So, um, but I do experiment with the different forms and I'll tell you more about that later, what I found. But I just want you to know it is working. Um, the dosage, like I keep repeating, is, is probably the most difficult part because there isn't a lot of information online, although you can find some books and some suggestions. And what I found is the highest dose that they recommend is 30, 30 grams a day. That's the max you can take. You want to take the lowest dose you can take, which is usually like 15. Grams, like half of that. Um, but I have to use close to the maximum because um, I've had Parkinson's or been diagnosed for the past three years and I'm at a high level of the level broker already. Um, some things that are different with it, your body feels different. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but my body felt more grounded, like to the like the cinema makes your body feel a little different. I'm not saying it makes it feel bad and the lacuna um, makes it feel better, but it's just a different feeling. And um, another thing you have to get used to is, is that there are off times. So I still have off times like I used to have. But the off times aren't as dramatic. What I mean by that is that when I was on the cinema, I would almost like topple over when the um, when the off time came. It, it didn't start out like that. At first it was just like a mood change, but now I actually have where um, I have motion problems. And so once my off period comes right now, I get really slow and I can only, you know, take tiny little steps. Um, so that still happens, but it's not as dramatic. I don't feel like I'm going to topple over because I'm more grounded. So it's much more like calmer, of a, a calm, like a calm, calmer period, if that makes sense, than the um, cinnamon. So I like that. Um, I also have mixed it with the cinnamon, and it, it works. So sometimes when I haven't, um, I haven't, made the little, I, I make little chews now and because I didn't like the taste of the, of the herb. So when I haven't made enough of the chews, 
then I do take my Sunet. And I can take both of them. It doesn't really have an effect. Although sometimes it does feel like I get more dyspnea when I mix them. When I just take the um, herb, I don't get dyspnea. And when I take cinnamon, sometimes I might get the, the, the dyspnea. When I take both, it does seem like I get a dyspnea. It's not too bad though, so it's kind of worth it if I have to take the both. Right now, if I have to do something special or I have to be on all the time, I do take both. And I always carry my cinnamon just in case. One thing I should mention is that I do take half a tablet of the cinnamon, and that's what my doctor recommended. Um, because there's some talk that just using the herb uh, without the carbidopher, that it won't cross the blood-brain barrier. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but uh, it doesn't hurt to use half a tablet of cinnamon, so that's what I've been doing. So, I'm going to end this here. There, there are more things I want to tell you about, but I don't want the video to be too long, and I don't want it to be overwhelming. I will tell you other things that I've learned. I have a video on how to make what I call the chews, because the taste of the powder is not really pleasant for me, and I sort of get nausea over it. So I've tried it in different foods, and uh, this chew product that I make. So bye, I'm gonna close it now because I'm getting real hot and sweaty. <laughs>